This is the Martini Mortgage Podcast with Kevin Martini. Hello to you and thank you for tuning in. If you are watching this video or listening to it via iTunes, let me say welcome to the Martini Mortgage Podcast. This is episode four, the Kevin Martini Market Perspective. Now, several calls have come into us recently here at the Martini Mortgage Group at Benchmark Mortgage from my realtor partners, real estate professionals, clients, and future families I'll be working with asking about the market. Some think it is just simply crazy. However, folks, I have a news flash for you. We are entering into a normal market environment for a good economy. The symptoms of a good economy are higher mortgage home loan rates, And I believe since my family is your family lender, it is my duty, my obligation and responsibility to prepare you on what is coming. Now, what is coming, I cannot tell you when on the calendar mortgage rates will make the major move upward. However, I want to prepare you, it is coming. If we look back to 2009 to 2015 and 2016, we went through a place that there were, we have not seen in decades. I mean, during this period of time, the Federal Reserve was not tightening. This cycle was eight, nine years. It was almost a decade. And now the Fed is in tightening mode. Last year, the Fed raised the Fed fund rates three times. This year, they have raised the Fed fund rate twice this year in January and March, and experts are saying the Fed will most likely tighten two more times this year. Here is the Martini Factor talking point. Since last year, the move was more than 125 basis points. So think about last year for a moment. Mortgage rates were in the mid to upper threes, and now they are about a point and a quarter higher today. Even though the Fed does not control mortgage rates in Raleigh, North Carolina, or in any city in North Carolina, or in any state in the United States for that matter, certainly the cost of money going up and the Fed controlling short-term rates pushes the market up overall. Since the Fed knows the economy is not just approving, it is heating up. Right now, the employment rate is right now about 96%. And some project the unemployment rate might go into the 3% range. And that means 97% of the population is employed. Why is this so good? Well, there are many factors. Now, whatever party affiliation you have, you have to understand this. President Trump with the signature of his pen through executive order, eliminated about 200 pieces of regulation to open the markets up. Then there was a tax cut. And there's so many good things happening in the economy right now. And that is why the Fed is tightening right now and most likely will continue to tighten. Now, Right now, in my opinion, there is not real inflation to be concerned about, but in Q2, Q3 of 2018, it will start to rear its ugly head, and inflation is the nemesis to the bond yield, and mortgage rates live in the bond market. Yikes! If this happens, as many predict, higher mortgage rates are coming. Friends, we are right now entering into a normal market, and I want in this episode of the Martini Mortgage Podcast to prepare you for for this. You do not need to be shocked that mortgage home loan rates are gonna be going up. Right now, we are going into a normal marketplace. Normal means there are jobs being created. There is growth in the economy. I'm talking real growth since the jobs that are being created are not minimum wage jobs like we saw last decade. Now, I am a licensed mortgage loan originator and my crew is licensed too. However, we believe it's our duty, obligation, and responsibility to generate a mortgage strategy that creates the lowest cost of borrowing for the families we serve. And then after origination, to manage the home loan for that family to get them debt free as quickly as possible. And we do this in a stress-free, world-class environment. 
if you are currently in a starter home or a trade-up home that no longer fits your needs and you are looking to step into a luxury home, now is the time to list your house for sale and make your dreams come true. If the right thing for you and your family is to purchase a home this year, buying sooner rather than later could yield to actual substantial savings. Let's take a quick break and then talk about the 10-year treasury and more. The Martini Mortgage Group makes real estate dreams a reality with trusted advice in a stress-free environment with great rates and on-time closings while providing a world-class experience. If you or someone you know has questions about the current mortgage rates or the current mortgage programs, please reach out to the Martini Mortgage Group at 919-238-4934. Welcome back, and I want to talk about the 10-year treasury. The biggest point I want to make is the 10-year treasury, which is an indicator of the cost of money, is now above 3%. Now, it popped above 3 and below 3 through February, and now it broke above, and it seems like it's staying there. Now, It might go down, but any rally would have to come from a global disruption either locally or overseas or something like that. Now, if this happens, it may be an opportunity to lock your loan at a discount. However, you have to know this economy is real and it is good. The thing that I worry about, and it may not happen tomorrow or may not happen next week or even next month, but it's going to happen. With the 10-year treasury above three, we have not seen this in a very long time. And we have not seen this type of bond market in a very long time. And a big sell-off might rear its head just one day. And I think that day is coming sooner than later. You see, there's something called a gap. Short-term rates have gone up 125 basis points and long-term rates have gone up, however, not as fast, and they need to go higher. So this means a potential quarter to three-eighths higher rates may be coming once there is, let's say, a, a monster job reports that shows wage inflation or continued growth in the housing uh, sector or uh, a very high PCE number. Um, so what we need to know is this. The past is the past and we have to get over it. Low Raleigh mortgage rates are in the rear view mirror. However, from a historical perspective, right now, home loan rates are epic. When my wife, Ronnie, and I purchased our first home, we were tickled that we were able to secure a home loan with an annual percentage rate, wait for it, of 9.48%. Folks, this was for an adjustable rate mortgage. In the 80s, the average rate in that decade was 12.7%. In the 90s, the average rate was 8.12%. In the 2000s, the average mortgage rate was 6.29%. And right now, mortgage home loan rates are for sale and on sale with the Martini Mortgage Group at Benchmark Mortgage. You need to keep on the radar with the 10-year treasury being above 3%. And this uber good economy we have, there will be a day, and again, I am not saying it's going to be tomorrow, next week, or next month, but it will happen where mortgage rates will make a big move, and that move will mean higher mortgage rates in Raleigh, North Carolina, and every city in the U.S. Again, if the right thing is for you and your family to purchase a home this year, buying sooner rather than later could lead to substantial savings. In addition, it is never too soon to know before you owe. So schedule a time to connect with me or with Alex or with Logan here at the Martini Mortgage Group. Thank you. Thank you for the time and know that I and the entire Martini Mortgage Group at Benchmark Mortgage are dedicated to make your real estate dreams a reality. Our family is your family lender. 
Thanks for listening to the Martini Mortgage Podcast with mortgage strategist Kevin Martini. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Martini Group and check out our website at martinimortgagegroup.com. Tune in next week for another episode of the Martini Mortgage Podcast. If the Martini Mortgage Podcast has helped you, please spread the word by sharing this podcast with friends and writing a review on iTunes.